project is mainly based on your aid for the visually impaired, for the people who are blind. Even though they cannot have any sight, we have made a project or a classes which make them very confident in public and uh, in the surroundings. So, as you guys can notice, if my hand is in 30 centimeters, it buzzes every one second. If I take it closer, it buzzes every zero. So when I'm giving one red color object, this is, uh, light is glowing brightly. But if I take some green object, it is not glowing at all. And if I take some black object also, it is not glowing. So now we are playing the music that is playing in the screen. So here the light is being up. So this experiment can be used in the Wi-Fi. So here we can transmit the data or we can transmit the data. So now when LED absorbs this, so the song that is playing in the phone that will be playing in the screen. as well as the oxygen uh, uh, amount of oxygen dissolved in the blood. So the sensor consists of two LEDs. One is the monochromatic LED and the other one is the IR LED. And uh, it consists of another photo which is used to detect the oxygen amount in the blood. So the monochromatic LED is used to detect whether the sensor is on or off. And the IR LED is used to detect the pulsating amount of oxygen in the blood. So when you have to switch on the sensor, based on the pulsating of the IR LED, now we are going to use this code in order to use the serial plotting of the graph. Yeah, can place your phone. So we have used Max uh, 30102 sensor, which is actually used in many uh, medical appliances for uh, detecting the pulse readings. So this gives actually the accessibility to many users, even if they don't process them in PT or Thank you. 
or a body or an object comes in this uh, or disturbs this laser so the, and, uh, and signal will go to the circuit and this circuit goes to the buzzer and uh, here the buzzer uh, gives us a signal that an intruder has come in the in the laser beginning so in uh, so now the application so this laser system we, we can use in uh, banks or in a uh, home applications so wait a second now i will see See, I am demonstrating the, this. See, if the laser is fall, falling on this light uh, dependent resistor, it doesn't uh, sound. If I keep my finger in, in between, see, the buzzer sounds. So, until unless uh, the laser is uh, disturbed, the buzzer will not uh, give us any, any sound. If we disturb the laser, the buzzer will give us a sound. For example, you take uh, two bin, uh, decimal digits, so one plus three. Uh, the equivalent of one is uh, one zero zero zero. So one zero zero zero, and the equivalent of uh, two in binary is zero one zero zero, and the sum is like this: uh, high high low low uh, one one zero zero. Uh, the equivalent of one one zero zero to decimal is two. Uh, sorry, three. And this is a uh, carry look at for uh, overflow. For a uh, overflow example, if you take uh, 8 plus uh, 8, it gives 16 uh, which uh, carry LED close. So how the circuit works is, 
The LED are semiconductor diodes that emit light in power bias conditions. These diodes are similar to single diodes that are that are in functioning. In the circuit, 13 LED are connected to Arduino Uno and resistor of 220 ohm is used. In, Ardu in Arduino Uno pins from 0, 0 to 12 is being connected using jumping wires and the 13th pin is connected from resistor terminal. Then from power supply, a switch is used where the terminal connected voltage in, in the Uno and the negative wire is connected to ground pin of Uno.